All right. Hello, Sue. Thank you for joining us. Hi, John. You know, I, I like having you on because you're somebody who is not just you're you're having, you know, a serious illness. You're not just having, you know, mm -hmm. fibromyalgia or headaches. You have something that's going on. And I always hear back from you how, how your doctors are saying certain things. And mm -hmm. you'll tell us about that. But can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with you and how you found us? And uh, sure. that, that would be great. Well, um, actually, I was diagnosed in uh, November of 2019 with stage three cancer. And so and it was very it was inflammatory. It was uh, very aggressive. Um, I went through uh, chemo, radiation, um, surgery. And uh, <clears throat> at that point, they told me they had to take 17 lymph nodes out from under my arm which kind of freaked me out because I know how important the lymph system is. I didn't really know as much then as I do now, but I knew I was going to be losing some of my body. Um, so I started searching online, you know, just crazy, trying to find help for my lymphatic system after the surgery. And that's when I found you. And um, I've, you know, I've gone since I've, gone through that um i guess it was about a year and a half ago i had already started the program but the cancer was still in my body and i um it it actually metastasized to my lungs they told me that um the lungs were <clears throat> they were too numerous to count the the lesions in my lungs and my chest cavity so i did go on a very a very light um, estrogen blocker, but that's when I really started paying attention to my lymph lymphatic system and going crazy with the the core the online course and the physical distance lymphatic sessions. And I could tell when I first talked to you about doing a, the lymphatic distance healing. I I, I work I work uh, intuitively also, but I could feel this energy when we were talking, and so I knew that it was it was uh, going to work. I mean, I knew that you could help me. And I remember from that first uh, distance lymphatic healing, the difference, I mean, afterwards, I was so relaxed. And, um, and I, you know, I did it a few more times. And it was, I could just feel the flow in my body, I lost a lot of bloating. And, um, and through the class, the online class, it was just amazing how much better I felt. So so fast forward a little bit, my doctor said, well, this is the cancer you've got and there's really not much hope. You're already stage four. And um, so I kept doing what I was doing with the with the class and the distance lymphatic healing. And excuse me, she said the last time that I saw her, she said, I don't know what you've been doing. She knew I was doing uh, other things besides just the just the estrogen blocker that she gave me. She said, I don't know what you've been doing, but keep doing it because it's amazing. She said, I've never seen anybody. She said, as far as I'm concerned now, you can just act like a normal person. She was like, your immune system is great. I never got COVID. I never, I haven't had anything since I started doing this class. And, and with your sessions, I, I haven't had a cold. I haven't had COVID. I didn't get the flu. I mean, my immune system is amazingly strong right now, John, and I, I attribute it to your work. Right. I remember last time we talked, you said when you walk into uh, the doctor's office, uh, it's like you're the only one who's actually, you know, upbeat. Everybody's not mm -hmm. feeling well and having pain mm -hmm. and problems. And, and you look terrific. I, I told you that before. I mean, you have big Thank color you. in your face. Uh, was the course easy to follow? That's what a lot of people are concerned about. Was oh, yeah. It easy? Do you have do you do you need a PhD to understand no. the root system? No, it's very intuitive. You just follow the the format. And um and when I I remember I asked um Eileen some questions, or I would ask your daughter, uh Fallon, I think it is, and um and they they would get back to me right away and let me know either how I was supposed to go through the course if I was missing something or a question kind of offbeat because of course with my experience I have pretty specific questions 
about cancer and the lymphatic system, especially for my lungs. So they would always get right back to me and, and I could follow it easy. It was really, um, I just found it really interesting. I mean, the whole thing was interesting and I liked the way the course moved. You know, it was like you could learn some moves and you could learn some techniques and then you would find out why those things were so important. And it's really all inclusive, right? It's not just drainage because we're very oh, no. clear of you that just drainage, really, you need to change your diet. You need to take some supplements right. that we mentioned in the course, which aren't a ton. And I don't make any money on supplements, right? I just recommend mm -hmm. them. You get them where you want. Uh, but uh, it, that's it's people have to understand that it's just science that's missed. It's not hard science. It's just missed science that nobody's really talking about. And once you incorporate into your life, no matter what health problem you have, but especially for cancer, uh, you're mm -hmm. giving yourself that edge, you know, and that to me is, is, is so important. What would you say to people who are sitting on a fence thinking about it? Uh... Oh, I just, I, you've got to jump. You really have to jump. I tell you, if I had had this course, and your knowledge, um, even five years ago, I wouldn't have had cancer. I mean, I know that, uh, of course, the breast tissue is is very uh, full of lymphatic tissue. And I, I know that it's just something that gets stuck because you're not, you're not, um, you're not, your diet isn't right or your your movement is not right. And if I had been doing it back then, I don't think I would have had cancer. Um, I really don't. And I honestly, I, I had eczema for, since I was probably six, I'm 63 now, and I don't have eczema anymore. I mean, I'm like, I, my skin, like you said, is, I don't have eczema anymore. I mean, I've had eczema since I was a child. And bad acne too, I believe you said. You, yes. You had, and right? I, yeah. and the thing was, is that once, I mean, I didn't even notice that as a side effect. I mean, I was really doing this about the cancer and the metastases and everything. But then I realized, wow, I don't have any skin problems anymore. And my mom was like, you know, that's weird. I said, well, it's not really when you find out where it comes from. Right. So it's not really about you might be you might be dealing with some kind of disease or <clears throat> or something. But this really affects everything. So if you're, you know, like your immune system. I mean, my skin problems and I was, I missed school because I had eczema so bad. So if you're sitting on the fence, just jump because it's going to be the best investment that you can make in your, in, for your health period. Right. You get to be able to take care of yourself for, for, you know, not just today. You, we always get other problems, right. you get digestive issues, we get headaches. You'll know how to maintain these things with, with right. just science uh, that really nobody else is really talking about. Right. All right, Sue, I want to thank you very much uh, for coming on and helping people thank understand you. how this can actually help somebody who's actually in cancer. And it's really not to me, it's not about curing, right? It's about managing your cells so that it can do its job and fight. Because when we're going through chemotherapy and radiation or other type of cancer treatments, even more natural, we're becoming more toxic. And how can, and it exactly. stops the lymph system. And how can we heal and fight the cancer when we're so toxic, right? So my work works well with everything. Any type that you're doing, it works well with. Mm -hmm. Sue, I appreciate you. You have a wonderful day. Thank you so day. much. Take care.